Hello and welcome back to another vlog. This is my fourth consecutive week vlogging now. I'm quite proud of myself for sticking it out this long. I'm really, really enjoying it this time round. So yes, another week. It's Monday and I've done everything I needed to do this morning to get my brain in its best headspace. I went for a run, um, just got out of the shower, hence why my hair is quite fluffy and I'm quite shiny. The weather is set to be glorious this week and if you are also living in the UK you will know how much the weather, how much we depend on the weather, how much the weather determines um, British people's moods, uh, hence why we love talking about it so much, moaning about it so much, raving about it so much, like the weather is a, it's a big thing for us, a very big thing, so I Fingers crossed this week we'll get some garden time, maybe we'll go out for a picnic, you know, do all the nice outdoor things that we can do now because we are allowed to go out more than once now. We are allowed to go out unlimited times, I think. Um, we're allowed unlimited exercise, we're allowed to go for picnics in the park, we're allowed to actually drive to places if we want to because beforehand we weren't allowed to drive anywhere, we were only really allowed to walk. So, um, yeah, I, th I feel like this week could be a good one, but let's not set ourselves a precedent or anything like that. Anyway, the, the, I'm really enjoying my outfit today, so I'm going to show you what I am wearing. It's a bit summer goth, though. I'm going to prop you up here and try to show you what I'm wearing, because the light upstairs is so bright that it's really hard for me to film in the mirror, so this might be a bit better. Um, I'm wearing a black silk mix vest from Arquette. It is um, ribbed. Don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I angle myself. Yeah, it's ribbed. I love the shape of this because I know a lot of people out there do not like this particular area of their armpit. It can, you know, you know what I mean. You get that sort of bit. And this vest, because of the way it's cut, covers that bit. So I think it's really flattering in that sense. And also I like that it's it covers more in this area. Like I love a strappy tank top, but there's some days where I just think, oh, I just would like something that's a little bit more, just covers a bit more. So I, I love the um, cut of this. And then the shorts are also from Arquette. They are um, extremely, extremely comfortable. Paper bag waist with like um, an adjustable buckle at the front here elasticated I'm five foot three and they hit me just above the knee but I do wear them quite high on the waist and then I'm going to run real far back and I've got some new shoes <laughs> you're probably not going to be able to see that at all as a birthday treat because no one was really able to buy me a gift my most of my family gave me money so as a 30th birthday treat, I did buy myself these sandals from the row, which I do have in black, but I have just, I couldn't get the white out of my mind. And I wore, I've worn the black so much. And I just thought, you know what? I really want these. And I saw them in my size on the row website. So I took the chance and grabbed it. They only just arrived a couple of days ago because they, the row had shut their warehouse, so um, they weren't shipping anything for a few weeks. So they've only just reopened and started shipping. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an all black outfit. It's fairly simple, but it's like, it's one of those outfits that I feel extremely comfortable, but also quite chic and smart. So um, yes, that's me for today. I've just been sat eating my lunch and really reflecting on something that I listened to while I was out running this morning. I use the Nike running app and normally I just listen to a playlist that I have but today I decided I wanted to try one of their guided oh, runs. Oh. Well, I decided this morning I wanted to try one of their guided runs. So they have a bunch of them where you kind of just get guided through a run. It, you know, you, there's so many different ones. You can pick an hour run, there's marathon training, there's short running, there's, there is literally hundreds. And I saw one this morning that really jumped out at me and it was called the morning run with Headspace. Some of you might be familiar with the Headspace app. I don't get on with it very well, but I 
was intrigued by this. I was like, oh, how are they combining sort of like what Headspace teaches with running? And it's a 30 minute guided run. Honestly, it was like just mind blowing. I had such a positive experience whilst running this morning. And I'm not gonna talk about the run itself, but it's what that they were talking about through the guided run that was just so profound and so like apt for what we're going through at the moment. It just really like hit me and I was like, throughout the whole run I was just like, yeah, wow. Yeah, just over and over I was just like, this is all making so much sense and it's so applicable for more than just running. Um, so it's just a conversation between the guy who does the Headspace app and then one of the Nike coaches. They just sort of talk through a few mindfulness practices, a few tips that you can use whilst running. It's just like a, a really like gentle conversation and there's a few breaks in between where they play music and it was just lovely. And it really taught me to like get out of my head and just focus on my body and just tune into what my body was feeling um, because when I run I do have a tendency to just my mind will just wander and I'll go off on crazy tangents but this guide was really helping me focus on being present and just like letting so much tension go and something I've been writing some notes down here actually I've just listened to it again because I was just like I need to remember this stuff because it was it really like it's really stuck with me all morning. They were talking about how the, when you're running, and, and this applies with anything I think, Let, let's just apply this to when you wake up in the morning. The rest of your day, you can wake up in the most positive mood, but the rest of the day can slowly invade that positive mood. Like you can start the day with a run or yoga, or you can start it in the most incredibly positive way, but then we start to anticipate the stresses and the anxieties that the rest of the day may or may not bring. And that was, that was just like the perfect way to just illustrate how I feel each Monday. Like I, and I, you can see it in the vlogs, like each Monday I get up and I'm like, oh, I'm feeling good today, ba ba ba. But in my mind, I'm already anticipating what Tuesday might bring, what Wednesday might bring. And then I'm like, well, by Thursday, I'm probably gonna be a mess. And it just made me think I need to get out of that mindset and I need to just think about now and imagine that there is only now, there is only this moment. So for example, with running, I just need to focus on the run. There is only that run. I don't need to think about yesterday's run. I don't need to think about tomorrow's run. I just think about that run and in keep in tune with my body. And they were saying that when you feel like your mind going to that place where you are kind of anticipating what is ahead, you need to acknowledge it. It's not really about like controlling the brain, acknowledge what's happening, acknowledge that thought, acknowledging what you're worrying or obsessing about, see it for what it is, but then just let it go, just push it away. And it's kind of like a form of just practicing to focus and basically be present. That's all it was, is it was a very in-depth 30 minute conversation about being present and how you can apply that within running. Um, but don't worry, this isn't me trying to convert you to running. This is just me saying that the things they were telling me were just like so apt for what we're going through now. And they were also saying about how you should just let go of how you think things should be and just work with how things are and just be present with that. And I think that especially really resonated with how I feel each week. It's like, I just need to work with what I've got now and not get stressed with how I think sh things should be, how I think, what, how I want things to be and just deal with what is happening now. Um, I'm just looking at the timer and I've already been talking for five minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna stop there, but just some food for thought, I thought maybe, some of you might find that interesting and um, yeah, I, I just wanted to write it down and say it out loud because I was just like, wow, this is so like profound for me. Like I'm just, I feel a bit like I've been reawakened. I'm just like, oh my God, that is so, so right. I'm now about to go to the post office to start posting 
the Depop orders. And I'm wearing quite the sporty get-up that I thought I would try and show you. Maybe I'll prop you up here again like I did the other day. Um, navy Uniqlo men's jumper in um, extra small, that's right. And then these white shorts, which are from COS, extremely similar to the charity, sh charity shop ones that I have. And then on my feet are my New Balance uh, 990s. So, extremely comfortable, but I'm literally just going to the post office and then I will go to the bakery to get some bread and bits and that's it really. So I'm not really too fussed about getting dressed up. Unfortunately, not much to report today and it seems that that's been the kind of general pattern this week so far. There hasn't really been anything eventful to document or say. I went for another run this morning, so that's three runs in a row this week, feeling really good about that. And I did another Headspace run that I was talking about yesterday. This time it was slightly different, it was a recovery one, so it was slightly longer. But yeah, really good, really, really, really good. And um, obviously has put me in a good headspace, as you would hope. Today, um, it's set to be 28 degrees or something ludicrous like that. Uh, in the UK, that's like almost heatwave territory for us. So I think I'm going to make use of the garden today and sit outside and get some sun and try and read because I haven't been able to really focus on reading for, gosh, maybe two weeks now. And I really, really want to just have some time to switch off and just try to be present with my book. So I will do that this afternoon. And then I think Dean might be finishing work early. So possibly go for a bike ride or maybe like a late afternoon, early evening picnic or something. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, it's just, it's one of those weeks so far. An accidental mix of sun cream and sweat seems to have created the most perfect tussled wavy hair. <laughs> I could just hear this little snip snip noise and thought what are you doing? Just caught you trying to cut the grass with the kitchen scissors. <laughs> we don't have an edge yet or a strimmer. No we need a strimmer for the edge. Getting, it is you know, getting so out of hand. Have you done it all? Have you trimmed it all with the scissors? Oh yeah, you can see here where it's like yeah. out of hand. Oh, maybe I should just bite the bullet and buy a strimmer. Yeah, we'll just get one. We're not We can't do this every week. <laughs> every week. <laughs> bun look. Oh! Also decided to get myself a donut as well. The week is flying by as it always seems to at the moment. Today we um, are going to plant all the flowers that we got the other day. I went to the bakery this morning and got myself some cardamom buns, a donut, and some fresh bread, so I'm now about to make a fried egg on toast. But yes, um, the soil has arrived. Da 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 da! Nice big mound of soil for us to get planting. And I've ordered a table and chairs, which will hopefully be here within five to ten working days apparently. So this little area will start to come together in the next two weeks. Oh, I 
completely forgot to like keep documenting what we were doing in the garden this afternoon but we're now done we've had dinner the day the day is done so I just thought while the sun is still sort of like shining on the garden I'll just show you everything planted um, gardening is one of those jobs that <laughs> I do enjoy it but it takes so much time and effort and it's one of those things that gives it gives quite big reward but it's a slow reward like you plant something and it kind of doesn't look great for a bit and you're just sort of waiting for it to flourish and I always feel like when you're planting when you're taking pots out of plants and then putting them into soil it, there's that really delicate stage as to whether they're going to take or not um, so at the moment everything just looks a bit sort of like meh if you know what I mean and I, I just I'm just hoping in like a month or so things will start to look a bit more just a bit fuller and a bit more like a proper garden so the soil is all in we've got these two bushy plants here and then we've got the more florally things here because this side gets sun all day so we needed things that wanted and enjoyed full sun I'm a bit worried about this eucalyptus bush though because I've got a funny feeling that that is going to go quite crazy and possibly needs just pushing that way a little bit so I'll see how that goes but yeah you see what I mean about when you when you first plant things they just look ever so lonely don't they and just a little bit just a little bit miserable but that, that's what I mean about gardening you, you kind of do it and then you're like right now I've just got to wait wait for it to all sort of grow into itself but we need to go back to the garden centre and find some more plants that enjoy the shade to go down this side and then I think that'll be us done for planting um, you know I don't want to go too crazy because like I said they will start to grow bigger and I don't want everything to be overcrowded what a beautiful Friday morning pick me up. I knew these were coming because I ordered them for myself, but I just got back from my run to find these sat in my front garden with a little note. They're so beautiful. I can't wait to get these in a vase. I haven't had any flowers in the house for um, a couple of weeks now, just because I've struggled to find a florist local to me that puts together the sort of bouquets that I quite like, because I much prefer that sort of wildflower look. So when I found Wild Folk on Instagram, I was elated because this is right up my street. This is exactly the kind of thing I like to have. I don't know whether to keep it as a full bouquet or um, split some of them up. Hello, it's the weekend and it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend. Oh, not that that makes much of a difference at the moment. Anyway, just had a very exciting delivery come through our door this morning and it's food. It's not flowers, it tends to be food at the moment. There is a restaurant at the end of our road, which is our favourite restaurant here in Norwich. And I would say it's the best restaurant in Norwich, but I'm probably biased because it is on our road and it's our favourite. Um, anyway, they've obviously been closed for the last sort of nine to ten weeks and logistically they haven't been able to offer a takeaway service because I think they buy their produce weekly based on how many people are booked into the restaurant that week so that there's no waste. Just the way the restaurant runs doesn't really lend itself well to a takeaway service. However, this week they have launched a cook-along service so what they've done is they've created a hundred kits 
and within that kit is everything you need to cook a meal for two people and it's quite a hearty meal there's a lot of food on the menu and then they've created a youtube video and provided you with the link and then this evening they'll be live on instagram um, answering any q and a's while you cook along with the chefs from the restaurant i think it's amazing to see how so many independent restaurants have adapted to this and how many restaurants are providing a takeaway service but the thing i love about this is that it's encouraging you to cook which i think is really really nice Anyway, on the menu is, I'll show you. We've got buffalo wings, some fried chicken strips with fennel, fennel mayo, Hasselback potatoes, some a salad with pickled asparagus and radish, and then grilled stone fruits with Chantilly cream. I cannot wait to have a rummage around these. But yeah, that's dinner sorted this evening. Can't wait for this. The basics of it is chili sauce, warmed up, with butter with spirit. And these wings have had about eight minutes now. And like you can see the fry on the buffalo wings. <coughs> so you've got your buffalo wings and this is like for anyone who's been on and then some just snap on throughout. I am currently grilling some stone fruit. Well, I say grilling, I'm like caramelizing some stone fruit for the dessert because the um, dessert is caramelized stone fruit in a bowl of Chantilly cream, which I'm very excited. That meal was incredible. Um, we finished it now, obviously I'm showered and everything. I just had a little break in between the main and the dessert because there was a lot of food there, but it was incredible and quite bizarre because the meal itself was so incredible and almost couldn't believe we'd cooked it ourselves because it tasted pretty much identical to how it would taste if we were eating it in the restaurant. So it was kind of like, wait, did we actually cook this? Because this tastes really, really good. And yeah, that was just a really nice pick me up for what has been quite a low day for me. I won't get too much into it now. I might talk about it tomorrow, but yeah, just had quite a, quite a fragile day. That's how I'm gonna describe it, fragile. And I've found it hard to pull myself out of it. So that was a really nice pick me up for the end of the day. And then I think tonight we're going to watch 1917, I think it's called, the war film that was recently released. I think it's available to buy on Amazon or something like that, but Dean's quite eager to watch it. So after I forced him to watch a quite terrifying Korean horror film last weekend, can't remember what it's called now, Got Gonjiam, something like that. Someone recommended it actually in the comments and I found it and it was, yeah, it was terrifying, like really scary. It's almost like um, a Korean version of Blair Witch, but like 10 times scarier. So yeah, I've said to him he can pick the film this weekend. So we're going for less scary. And I think that's it for the night. Just sit, watch a film, enjoy this dessert, maybe have another glass of wine and just relax for the evening. Oof, I'm just on my morning run. Well, I say morning, I think it's like half 11. Had a very slow morning this morning. I've just stopped to sit at my new favourite little spot that I like to just sit at, which is this piece of water. It doesn't look much, but it's very tranquil to sit here as people rarely walk past this bit. I just thought I'd stop just to talk, I guess. Not that I've, I mean, I've, talk, I've talked enough in this vlog, but it's, I touched on yesterday, I had a bit of a hard day and I think I'm just having these like really inexplainable moments of like fragility where I just, oh hello there's a fly there, <laughs> where I just feel like I could um, almost like just shatter at any moment. I get really teary and just 
really struggle with what's happening at the moment. And I'm going to be honest, I am a bit of a pessimist. I have a tendency to think that the worst is going to happen. So for me at the moment, I am struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that sounds like, I mean, could I sound any more pessimistic when I say that? I know the light is there, but I'm struggling to see it. And because I can't see light at the end of the tunnel, that makes getting through each week quite difficult for me, um, especially in terms of motivation and lack thereof. There's been a lot of um, struggles to get, oh my God, there's mozzies everywhere. This is the worst place to sit. Um, yeah, there's a lot of struggles where I kind of lack the motivation to kind of even do the most mundane tasks each day. Um, like this week I managed to do the gardening and I feel like that's the only task I've accomplished this week and I'm really beating myself up about that so in, t in that kind of sense it's just like I need to practice what I was preaching earlier in this vlog where I just take each moment for what it is and try not to think about the past or what's what I expect something to be like um, so yeah, yesterday was just a really down one where I kind of, I think it was because I'd put the vlog together and I was just watching it back, just thinking, what have I even done with my week? I, what have I achieved? And I just felt like the whole thing was flat. I was flat um, and just really struggled to pull myself out of a bad headspace, which is ironic because I've been listening to that damn headspace app all week, which has kind of been putting me in good head spaces but yesterday I didn't do any exercise I didn't do any like meditative running anything like that and maybe that's quite a, a good reflection of how well the meditative running has helped me on the days I do it but then on the days I don't do it I have a bit of a oh my god I'm covered in bugs <laughs> the days I don't do it I'm struggling to kind of like practice it still but it's, it's a process, isn't it? You can't just change the way your brain is wired overnight. You certainly can't do it in a week. And I think it's just kind of repeatedly doing the same exercises over and over with that headspace app when I'm running. And eventually I will get more into the whole being present and just appreciating what is happening now as opposed to what happened yesterday or what's gonna happen for the rest of the week. Um, where, what else was I going to say? It's funny that like the only thing I'm motivated to do is run and that is because I know what the benefits will be once I finish the run and I think I need to apply that to other tasks in my life and during the week so it is just like thinking about how I will feel after I've done a certain task whether it is something quite small like uh, just tidying or like getting through my emails or doing that little bit of work I've been putting off just those kinds of things I need to think about the other side of it maybe and how the reward will make me feel because that's that's all running is for me there's a reward at the end that I crave so badly and it makes me feel better um so yes there you go four and a half minutes of rambling to try and explain why I had a bit of a down day yesterday I'm going to sign the vlog off here because quite frankly I am clutching at straws uh, in terms of things to film today, but not before I talk to you about this steamer because what steamer do you use is probably one of the most asked questions that I get. And I'm currently steaming some more things to put on Depop. So if you're watching this vlog today, as in Sunday, just as it's gone live, there will be another drop of Depop stuff this evening at some point. I'll probably aim for around about 7 or 8 p.m. UK time. It, it will be after this vlog is live at some point in the evening. Anyway, yeah, so my steamer because um, so many people always ask about it and I feel like I need to tell you all that you do not need to invest in an expensive steamer to get a good steamer. There are so many um, kind of like fancy, luxurious steamer brands out there and I've tried a few and I can honestly hand on heart say none of them beat this thing and this was probably about 
£25 from Amazon, I will find it and or I'll find a similar one and link it below. Like nothing comes close to this steamer and it's funny because you see all these steamers that are like sort of £50 and up and they're really beautifully designed, you know, like some Scandi minimal steamer, but they don't work. They, and I don't, I don't know what it is, they just don't work very well. I th I'm guessing it's something to do with like the amount of steam that's released or how the steam is released, but this steamer honestly can get rid of even like the most stubborn creases and it does it so quickly. Like I can, I feel like with this steamer, I can just whiz over a garment and it's just done. I also like this over any other of the steamers I've tried purely because of its size. It is a travel steamer so you're probably not going to be able to do much more than maybe like three items of clothing in a row. You do have to, the water does go very quickly and you have to keep refilling it. So I guess that's the only downside but it is a travel steamer so it's not designed for like lengthy steaming sessions of which I would really enjoy. Um, but yeah, the, the size of it means I can travel with it really easily because I've, I've, I've been sent a steamer by a brand that is, is beautifully designed and they said it's, oh, it's really streamlined and it fits in your suitcase really well. It doesn't. It doesn't fit in my suitcase half as well as this one does. This is so easy. So yeah, that's my uh, public service announcement of the steamer I use. It really isn't flashy and it's extremely, extremely cheap, but my gosh, does it work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on and start drafting everything for Depop and hopefully um, everything will sell as quickly as it did last time. I was so, uh, everything just escalated really quickly. I did two rounds of Depop last, at the beginning of last week and everything was gone within about 12 minutes, both rounds. So thank you so, so much. Um, if you missed it in last week's vlog, basically I've had quite a large clear out of things that just aren't, don't have a place in my wardrobe anymore, but they are really good things that I feel like need to go to a home that will love them. So all of the items I'm selling, um, nothing is over 30 pounds. I actually received some really funny messages last week asking me how on earth I could sell a pair of Marnie sandals for £30. <laughs> but all of the money is going to the Trussell Trust. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Trussell Trust. And I'm hoping, so I'm, we're almost, there's almost £500 sat in PayPal at the moment. So after this drop, I am hoping it will be sort of around the £600 mark. And I think that's when I will uh, donate it to the Trussell Trust because I'm after this round of Depop, I'm not sure if I'll do another one. I'll have a look because I do have a few boxes in the loft of like older clothes. But to be honest, I think these three rounds are, are the strongest rounds. You've got the cream of the crop with these three rounds that I've done. So um, yeah, the link for Depop will be down below. If that doesn't work, then just search for Brittany Bathgate and you should find me. As always, thank you for watching and let's just continue to be kind to ourselves and continue to ride each week as the waves take us and I shall see you all next week.